OpenAI has just released a paid version of ChatGPT, and that is ChatGPT+. I'm going to be comparing these two on pricing and speed tests, and also I'm going to be going over the new features of ChatGPT+. Hopefully by the end of this video, you have a gauge on whether you want to buy ChatGPT+, or if you just want to stick with the standard version. Let's get into it. So now when taking a look at the pricing, you'll notice that there are two pricing plans. There's the free plan, which is the standard ChatGPT that we all know and love. Sometimes it's not available due to high demand. Sometimes the response speed is a little slow. And now free plan users will not have priority access to new feature updates. So if you're on the free plan right now, ChatGPT is still going to work the exact same as it did before this ChatGPT Plus came out. Now moving on to ChatGPT Plus. ChatGPT Plus is $20 a month, which comes out to around $240 per year. And the benefits of getting ChatGPT Plus is that it's available even when demand is high, there's faster response speed, and you get priority access to new and up and coming features. So the pricing is very basic. There's a free plan and a $20 per month plan now. So when you purchase ChatGPT Plus, this is the new dashboard you will receive. It's very similar to this old dashboard over here, except now in this new Plus dashboard, you don't have the example prompts, you don't have the limitations but what you do receive is this new dropdown up top. When you click into this dropdown, to be honest with you guys, I was expecting a little bit more, but you can either change back to the standard mode of ChatGPT, the, the standard ChatGPT model, or you can turn it to the turbo mode, which is optimized for speed, and this is currently only available to the Plus users who are paying the 20 a month. So right now, if you do buy the Plus plan, I don't see why you wouldn't just use the turbo at all times. So as you can tell, these two dashboards are very similar. I guess the plus does look a little bit more clean without the limitations and example prompts and capabilities here in the middle. But either way, it's not something that really changes the functionality of ChatGPT. So the dashboard aesthetically changes a little bit. And if anyone was interested, here's the dark mode comparisons. Pretty similar. I like that yellow on that black background. So next we are going to be comparing the speeds ChatGPT plus versus the standard version of ChatGPT. I'm going to run a couple tests in order to get an average time of how much faster ChatGPT Plus is, but I'm going to do it on my phone because I believe that is the only efficient way that I can click both buttons at the exact same time. So I'm going to type in the same prompt. I'm going to say, sing me happy birthday. Okay, now both of these prompts are typed out and on three, I'm going to hit the send button. One, two, three. And now they are typing off. So as you can tell, between these two, definitely turbo mode was quite a bit faster. I'm interested to see how it does with a longer prompt, but it even finished a couple seconds ahead of the standard version with the addition of two lines. Next, I'm going to have it type out a little bit longer of a prompt so we can really see which one is faster, turbo or standard. Okay, so now we have both of the new inputs typed exactly the same, exact grammatical structure, same punctuation. We're going to send these off on three and see which one types out faster. One two, three, and now they are typing. Let's see which one gets done first. You can definitely tell the speed difference. So far, it seems like turbo mode has won. As you can see there, turbo mode is quite a bit faster than the standard mode, and there is definitely an increase in speed from turbo to the standard model. So this has been a quick video on comparing the standard version of ChatGPT to the paid ChatGPT Plus. So who is ChatGPT Plus really for? If you are someone who is very intrigued by this new AI technology, or you're a business owner who really needs to optimize speed, then I would highly consider getting ChatGPT Plus. But if you're an individual who just likes to ask it a couple questions now and then, and you don't mind if it's a little bit slower than the Plus version, then I would just recommend staying on that standard version. It's not really going to hurt you any other than sometimes the servers are a little slow and it's hard to get on the website if there is a high demand of traffic at that moment of time. That is one other benefit of ChatGPT Plus is you skip that waiting line if there is high demand. So should you buy ChatGPT Plus? Well, that's up to you, but I hope that I've helped in making your decision a little bit easier. If you want to see more ChatGPT update videos like this one, Hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you never miss an upcoming video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and comment your feedback. I would love to hear it. I'll see you in the next one.